Uh, well, uh, we could do this piece of shit level. Oh, this is actually a fairly annoying level. Glad I picked it. Okay, okay, okay. okay buddy. Holy shit, holy shit. It's running around. Star. Bingo. Nailed it. That's a star in like two minutes. Here we go. Which is, I'd say, a pretty respectable little nugget I just got there. Oh. Get absolutely fucking played. Oh, I forgot that this level, like if you jump at a certain height, the water starts higher. I think I'm gonna beat this game at the least amount of stars possible. Shocking arrow lifts. What could this mean? I don't know. I'll just fucking go as high as I can. Fuck it, hell. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fucking all the time. Christmas time is here. Grab yourself a beer, ha ha ha. Do some Jaeger bombs. In a Buffalo Wild Wings. It's the day after Christmas. Wait, is it the day after Christmas or the day after the day after Christmas? It's the day after the day after Christmas. On Christmas Day, we didn't actually meet up with fam. Follow the fucking arrows. The arrow just sends me there. You've met a few human waifus? <laughs> Do you mean like... Girls you have a crush on or something? <laughs> or do you mean like they dress up as anime girls? Just women. <laughs> Just women. <laughs> I've met a few women. Wait, do I have to lower the fucking bar here? Shit. Oh. Well, this is fucking... Stupid. Fuck. The inspirational story of how one man life was turned upside down when his spirit waifu rescued him from an England prison. I don't think this is a thing I can actually do, but I'm damned if I don't try, man. I think I'm gonna get denied by the rim, right? Yeah, it's blocked. Fuck. So I've really gotta go through each of these now? Oh my god. This really is a follow the fucking arrow scenario. Okay, okay. We're making some magic. I think it's kind of phenomenal that Nintendo, their only criteria for hiring their new uh, president they're like, if you've got a Mario character in your name, we'll just hire you. Now, I'm sure Doug Bowser has lots of other credentials. I'm sure he started from the bottom, now we're here scenario, maybe a, a busboy job, maybe he was a limo driver. But... Wait, I'm a fucking idiot. I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> I think I need the water to be all the way up. Oh shit. Let me up, let me up, let me up. You bastard. All I know is Doug Bowser is no Reggie. Where the hell's the next... Floor raiser here, man. Where the hell do I raise the water? Uh-oh. Oh, good thing I didn't push me off. Oh, well, they timed that shit. That's the cannon part. Oh. I'm following the fucking arrows. It ain't telling me shit, man. If my theory reigns true here, this could be solid. I think you have to lower it back. You know, take it down a little. Take it down a notch. Don't be so demanding of your people. I think Nintendo thinks very little of me. They think I'm not smart. Oh, you you need to get to the top when the water's at its fucking lowest. This is a tough fucking journey for Mario. 
Man has never traversed landscapes this large. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, guy. Wait a minute, guy. Get away. Get away. So then you... Do I want to go down this way? Or this way? That's the ultimate fucking question. Oh, this is the only one that goes down. Oh, wait. Frog Mario, just fucking go! You idiot! Dude, I'm gonna end up getting all fucking 100 coins but before this shit's over. Might as well at this fucking point. Wait, what is this for? What? Dude. What the hell just happened? <laughs> I don't quite understand. This might be the last for this star. Yeah. But bro, I'm so close to getting 100,000 coins! I've got the great... Uh, butt cheek shot glass of 2019. It's just legs for some reason. It was pretty cheap. But it definitely holds more than that motherfucking baseball bat. <laughs> that actually looks pretty cool. Although my shaky hand syndrome doesn't help this. Alright. Um... Oh god, I hope I don't fucking die. Oh no. Oh dear lord. The stakes have never been fucking higher now. When I'm trying to get fucking 60,000 coins, man. Yes, work. Yes. Oh, thank God. Thank God. No, no, no. I see you looking at me with your fucking Sidewinder eyes, man. Your Sidewinder fries, man. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. <laughs> How the fuck do I get over there? Do I need the motherfucking cannon? Oh, my God. I need the cannon. I need Nick Cannon. Oh, you asshole. Oh, that was fucking close, dude. Get away, man. Get away. All right. This gives me time to think. I need to get over there. Actually, fuck. Can I even do the cannon yet? This is all trash. Where's the fucking pink bomb? Pink bomb. Where are you, man? Mr. Pink. Reservoir dogs. Okay. The water rises. The fire rises. Dark Knight Rises is one of those, like, really weird movies, because I don't think it's that good, honestly. There's the fucking cannon guy. I don't think it's that good of a movie. But it's still a fucking Nolan movie, you know? Christopher Nolan doesn't play around, bro. I forgot I already fucking did this star. I was just gonna go... Wait, I don't think I can come back over here if I get 100 coins. I think once you go over there, you're kind of stuck there. So, fuck, I should probably just... We're really getting a Sonic movie and a fucking Mario movie in the same year. Get him! Fuck another star! <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn it! I don't want that, bro. How do I talk to Cannon Guy? Cannon Guy, I need you, man. I need you. I love you. I really have two stars already fucking open. And it's not even the one I was trying to do. Follow me, asshole. I'm gonna try my best here. What? Oh no! Oh! No, what are you doing? Stop your- you, you have one function, kill me! But don't kill me, you know? You fucking glide me up. I'm gonna fly like I'm fucking Superman. What? 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 I just went by the fucking wall! I should've just went for the fucking star then! God damn! 
This stupid game, man. I might wager Nintendo's most overrated game all fucking time, dude. It's about the Rocks verse and that, uh, Tech 9 song. One of the most bizarre crossovers of all time, but pretty classic. And then someone put his rap over uh, his Fortnite reveal trailer. Ultra banging with strange, I changed the game, so what's my motherfucking name? Pretty damn classic. I think that The Rock is actually trying to do a big F you to Vin Diesel. Cause he fucking hates Vin Diesel, dude. That's why he won't be in the new Fast movies unless it's the fucking solo ones with uh, uh, Jason Statham. That's, that's just a little known fact by... Uh, I have all the knowledge here. That's uh, Jerry's Beef Corner. It's a weekly, it's a weekly segment. How many fucking bars of health did that take? <sighs> Bro, I can easily get the 100 coins one. As long as I don't fucking die again. I'm already at 15. The blue coins give you... Shit, no, don't do that. I didn't need that. It's the only way, Mario. Remember, this is the only way to turn on the pink guy. Fucking... Oh, yeah. Fucking camera! Fucking... Stupid bumper! <laughs> this is like the world's hardest fucking game. You remember world's hardest game? Mario, I rarely cuss. But... Actually, fuck it. Let's get more coins. No, no, no! Oh my god. Over here. Over here, yes. Go over here, and then... Turn around, thank you. No, 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 no! I just want a hundred coins, man. I just want a hundred coins. I can't believe Taco Bell took away the beef burrito. The value menu will never be the same. It's absolutely just broken. Everything's broken about Taco Bell right now. I am no longer living moss. Mario seems like the type of guy that is put on the sex offender list for peeing in public. That's like some extended Mario lore for you people at home. Mario, you fucking idiot! I don't know, I don't know, Mario, 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 I need those coins. I need those fucking coins, Mario. I need those coins, Mario. Is this not how you fucking get to the pink cannon guy? Is this fucking just not? My brain says this is the only way to get the pink cannon guy. Mario, we don't have that many shots at this, bro. You can't fuck this up. Fuck! Mario, what are you thinking? That could have cost us our entire fucking life here. We got 58 coins. Think about the, the coin family. Everyone loves coins, including you, Mario. So what the fuck are you doing here? You're fucking me over. Mario, you asshat! You fucking idiot! Have you never wall jumped before in your fucking life? We're gonna try one more time to get the cannon guy that way. Then after that, we're just gonna go for other stars. This is clearly what this block was put here for. It has to be. This block has to be here for a reason. I don't think they could calculate in 3D space how Mario wall jumping would work. You fucking idiot. So I watched Venom 2 last night. Yeah, Woody Harrelson. You know, he's classic. He, uh, to be honest, I don't think Woody Harrelson's acting was very good. The only the only reason those movies are enjoyable is because of Tom Hardy's character in Venom. But like Michelle Williams' character, uh, don't really care about her and her husband or whatever the fuck, or boyfriend or whatever. Don't really care about him either. And that detective that's randomly in the movie. Was he in the first fucking movie? I was very confused about that. I did think it was pretty funny. Oh my god, it's, it's, it's my time. It's my time. This is impossible. Wait, is it actually impossible? This is not what you do? It's not what you fucking do. How is that not what you do? 
How the fuck do I get to the red co Ooh, get away from me. How the fuck do I get to the red coin? Level. Heart. I'm at 66 coins. Things couldn't be going any worse for me right now. I'm at 69 coins, which is nice. But not exactly what I want. I want to figure out the fucking cannon situation here. What's the deal with the cannons? I don't fucking know. What the? Oh, the fucking so many coins! So many coins! Where'd they go now? Oh! I can get them all. I can get them all. I can get them all. Where'd they come? Oh shit, 79 fucking coins! Now, all we gotta do is figure out this fucking cannon situation. Maybe we wall jump after we raise the water. That's my thinking. No, 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 get away from me, mother Oh, why? What? No! Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, Miyamoto. No, no, get away, get away. I don't wanna see you anywhere near me. Get the fuck away from me. Okay, okay, we're at 80 fucking four. 80 fucking four coins, dude. How the hell do you get to the bomb guy? Wait a minute, there's... Let's drop coins, dude. <gasps> That's a lot of fucking coins! That's a lot of fucking coins! 94 coins! We gotta be fucking close to the end of the line here. What if that... What if that purple motherfucker gives you six? Do we risk it for the biscuit? I don't know how to kill him. I'm assuming he just like tries to grab you, he misses, and then you grab him? Oh hell yeah. Give me six. Five? The fuck you mean? What do you mean five? <laughs> Where the fuck is another coin, dude? Wait. Is there another raise of the water? <gasps> oh fuck, there is. I'm a complete idiot. <laughs> Wait, no, there isn't, is there? How do I get to that motherfucker? All right, let's go up here. Can I jump? There's no fucking way I make that jump. Can I? Can I triple jump on this small platform? That's my, that's the only thing it could be. <sighs> this is starting to feel like a Ratatouille situation where instead of being a really good cook, Remy just sucks ass at Mario 64. Mario's like, I can't be a good platformer, but you can. And I'm like, well, shit, I'm not actually good at 3D platformers, especially old as fuck ones where the controls are fucking garbage. Hate to say it, but I'm not really a fan of these controls right now. The camera angles, the fucking joystick sucks ass. Don't invite Mario to any of your parties, unless it's a Mario fucking party. Oh my god. I can't make it doing this, right? Nope. I need the fucking triple jump, I think. There's 50 million people watching at home. They're all counting on you, Mario. All you have to do, when I press the jump button, just fucking jump on the third try. You fucking idiot! What are you doing? Mario, you're a complete fuck up, bro. How do you lose a princess 17 times? Stolen by Bowser, no less. Oh my god, Mario finally fucking did it! First try, Mario! After 30 minutes of hard work on this one fucking coin star, uh, it's all worth it. Can you get the extra lives and go in the. I don't think so. Alright, fucking go, Mario. I'm done with your shit. Oh my god. So I'm editing this video now, and uh, I don't know if you guys saw that, but let me slow it down for you. There was like six extra coins right there the whole time. This is like the part in Venom, whenever uh, Venom leaves Eddie Brock because he's pissed at him. This is like the part in Spider-Man 3 when Toby puts on the fucking uh, Venom suit. And he starts dancing around town. All right, fucking hell, we did it, boys. Imagine I drowned down here. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh fuck. I, I'm getting. Oh shit. Oh no. Please, God, no. Oh my God. We're gonna do it, guys. We got it. We fucking got it. All right. Now we get the fucking 100 coin star. Woo! -woo. And then we can get the fucking red coin star. Because whatever, for whatever reason, there were like 100 coins means that you can keep playing the level. Here we go. I remember this being kind of confusing on where the red coins are. That's n that's no sweat for Mario. Mario's been through some shit. Mario. 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 Stop with the woe. Stop with the woe. Mar Mario, climb the fucking pole, bro. Bro, Mario, just go on the pole. You're right there, Mario. Oh my god. Okay. How did you get up there, spider? How did that get in there? Yeah, I watched Spider-Man 3 yesterday, and I will say it holds up. It's not a good movie. But it's funny as fuck. Spider-Man 3 just has that Sam Raimi nonsense that just makes any movie likable. I can understand not liking the movie because it definitely did some stupid shit to Venom. But I'd argue Topher Grace was better than uh, Tom Hardy, to be honest. He just, he played the character better. <laughs> I really think the Topher Grace's inclusion in No Way Home you know they did it, you know they did it. Like, this isn't a spoiler or anything, but Topher Grace is in it. They put him in. They said Topher Grace is gonna be in Spider-Man. Once again, we gotta bring him back. And that's what they did, no spoilers, but yeah. Topher Grace is, Topher Grace is back. They knew there was gonna be a fan fucking uproar if Topher Grace wasn't back, so they fucking did it. I just accidentally fucking hit that one. Yep, I figured I'd have to break these fucking blocks first. Um, can we just lower the bar here a tiny bit? Where the fuck is the... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh shit. Mario. Mario, Mario, Mario. Mario, Mario, Mario. Please don't fucking die today. Oh, my God. Please tell me it's there. No, thank God. Oh, then get as high as you can, man. Well, that was the absolute worst fucking one to jump on, needless to say. <gasps> oh. I feel like Wet Dry World is gonna be one fucking YouTube video of sadness and despair. I feel like I've been doing Wet Dry World since the beginning of time. You guys know Land of the Lost? The uh, Will Ferrell remake? Yeah, it's like that. The beginning of time. It is weird to me that they did a Land of the Lost reboot movie and then they they were like, we're just gonna make the tone completely comedy. Pretty sure Land of the Lost, the show, is not comedic. At, like, you know, at first glance. So it was kind of weird what they were thinking there. I hate to say it, but Land of the Lost is kind of a... Shit comedy movie. I'm sure people love their Land of the Lost, their Will Ferrell nonsense. So I think if I was to build the perfect uh, rock concert lineup, right? I'd probably go for just like concert lineup and like what I would want at a festival. And I had to choose like 10 bands. I'd probably go like Radiohead, Tool, Metallica, uh, The Strokes. I'm trying to think of bands that are still playing fucking today. Rush isn't. ACDC isn't. Ozzy's really old. I'd probably add Avenged Sevenfold in there, even though I've seen them before, but they were just really cool to watch. I'd go Band of Horses. I just really like them. Right? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> The Shins, the Shins are really good. I've been listening to their shit like nonstop. I'm tired of waiting on this motherfucker. Oh, you clown. Okay. Nope, that 
That was stupid. You just gotta go underwater, come back up. You're fully healed. What a weird... Just what a weird scenario that they would put in this Mario game. Ba -ba 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 -boo we go. I'm gonna get a few stars here though because I know fucking Rainbow Road and Clock Tower of fucking Doom. Not my fucking... What I'm vibing with right now. Let it happen. Let it happen. It's gonna feel so good. I feel like I could be wrong, but I think the song Let It Happen by Tame Impala is about someone trying to convince a girl to have sex with them. That's kind of a weird scenario. A little rapey. But if we're gonna talk about the true rapey song, it has to be Kanye's Drunken Hot Girls, which is notoriously one of his worst songs. I don't think it's that bad, like instrumentals, it's actually fine, but damn, those lyrics are just terrible and rapey. I think you can pretty easily tell Kanye's mindset just... Just it's like listening to that song. You can get a, a weird grip on Kanye's mind. He knew exactly what he wanted with those drunken hot girls. He's like... <sighs> it just planted some roofies for these drunken hot girls. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, Kanye. That's a little too far, man. He's like, gonna get lucky with all these absolutely fucked out of their mind drunk girls and don't forget they're hot girls as well might take advantage of this girl while they're drunk and hot that's all i hear when i hear drunken hot girls but yeah the instrumental is actually kind of good though i don't know the instrumental is it's like creepy you know but when you when you add in the fucking rapey lyrics i think that's where kanye went a little wrong It is pretty funny that the name Drake is becoming synonymous with uh, fucking weirdos and uh, potential pedos. You got Drake Bell and Drake. I wonder if Drake told Drake Bell to change his name to Jared so he wouldn't be associated with them. Like in the same wavelength, you know? I'm a tired. Fuck you, Mario. We're all fucking a little tired in this life. I mean, come on, bitch. Here's what I'm saying. I think Drake tricked the other Drake into changing his name to Jared. I think he was like, yo, yo, Drake from Drake and Josh, bro. Uh, here's the thing, bro. Your name, it's dragging my name in the mud. And then he's like, dude, uh, like I heard about Millie, but uh, dude, you're totally, you're not, you're, you didn't do anything wrong, man. He's like, yeah, I know. I didn't do. I didn't do anything wrong, bro. I started from the bottom. You know, that doesn't mean I started from the bottom of like. You know, I, I don't. I don't start with young girls or anything. But I, I. And then Drake's like, dude, I totally understand. He's like, I've been there. They're they're saying all this stupid shit about me. He's like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna need you to change your name. He's like, well, my real name's Jared. And then Drake's like, yeah, 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 that'll work. Change your name to Jared. And then he's like, uh, move to Mexico. Drake, David Blaine, and Toby Maguire used to hang together and call themselves the Pussy Posse. <laughs> that seems too specific for that to be made up. If I was gonna, like, fetch three names from a hat, and the first name was Drake, and the second name was David Blaine, I would not continue that sentence with Toby Maguire. I'd probably finish that sentence with, like, Kid Rock or some shit. Yeah, Kid Rock, uh, Lars Ulrich, and Spider One from Power Man 5000. They hang out all the time, and they call themselves the Pussy Posse. Not even making it up. The only person Toby follows on Instagram is Kanye. Well, we know where his allegiance lies. He's a man of the people, just like It's Always Sunny. 
that they voted for Kanye. None of these idiotic businesses would have been successful whether Trump had won or lost. Why are you Sorry, talking about Trump? Trump? Where'd you get that? Yeah. Successful businessman, unsuccessful in love, electrifying on stage. That's our guy, Kanye West. Kanye West. Kanye West. Was, was you seen guy. him on stage? The only good Kanye songs are the ones where Kid Cudi does the chorus. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Kanye's got some good songs. How did you not Trump it? Mario, what the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> Wait a minute, I don't even need the fucking metal. Do a oh my god, I'm an idiot. Where did I go when the entire fucking premise changed? I don't need the fucking metal. I'm pretty sure I can wall jump that shit. Mario! Mario! Fucking Mario, what are you doing? Fuck you, fuck you, Mario, please, God, please, God, let Mario just fucking nail it once. Oh my god, <laughs> victory! Oh my god, Mario. Mario, you got this, buddy. Oh my god, is that enough to survive? We got one shot at this. Here we go. Oh my god. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team fucking here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm starting to question that idiot's theory. He's saying Drake, Tobey Maguire, and David Blaine used to hang out. Google is saying Leonardo DiCaprio, David Blaine, and Tobey Maguire used to be the pussy posse. Not Drake. Boss is not going to be happy about this misinformation. <laughs>